everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, a big hi and welcome to the 60 new subscribers from this past month. I really appreciate you watching, subbing, liking, commenting. Uh, some of these comments are really entertaining and valuable. Tell me what you like, what you don't like, uh, and give me, giving me all your feedback. And um, I'm just really happy that you're here and I really appreciate you. Uh, this channel wouldn't exist without you guys, so a big, big thanks. Mwah. Secondly, a lot of you really enjoyed my Stockholm food vlog. Uh, obviously, oh, there's a helicopter. Oh, I thought it's picking it up. Anyway, as a lot of you know, I'm originally from Sweden, so I go back a lot to visit family and friends and um, spend either the holidays or the summers there as much as I can. Uh, but I live in Los Angeles, so yeah, I got a lot of positive reviews or not reviews feedback from that video and i figured i'll try doing some los angeles vlogs as well i'm gonna try to take you along with me as much as i can to whether i go out to eat or when we're cooking at home it's gonna be a lot more cooking at home because it's just gotten so expensive to dine out in la even if it's just cheap what used to be considered cheap food like burgers and pizza, whatever. Um, it's just really expensive in this time and economy. Also, I do have a full-time job outside of this channel. I work, well, right now it's super, super busy. Uh, so I'm working about 50 to 60 hours per week, which is crazy. So I'm gonna do my best to film as much as I can. Oh, that's the oven alarm. Bobby has a loaf of bread in the oven. But anyway, so it's quite stressful and I am trying to still keep up with this channel because I love being here. I love YouTube. I'm a big YouTube consumer myself. Um, if I want to watch TV, I tend to go to YouTube. And so yeah, both on the consumer side and uh, production side, I just love this platform and I love food. So I'm gonna try to vlog and make, a, make this a regular thing. Well, we'll see how it goes. Please let me know what you think of this video and if you'd like to see more of this type of content. It was really helpful for me. I'd love to know because obviously this is for you as much as it is for me. So yeah, with that said, let's just get on with the day. And that's Bobby's loaf out of the oven. How amazing does that look? And this is not any loaf. This is a sourdough got a starter from a bakery and then he's just been taking care of that starter and feeding it and now we have a nice little loaf no that was a bad cut that was a horrible careful cut careful with your fingers Horrible knife. Can someone sponsor us a new knife? Mm -hmm. What do we love? Bacon, we love. eggs. Please, nation. That's good. Really good.
coffee. It's one of those weekends where I'm just, I have a lot to do. There's been a lot with work. So just staying in this weekend to catch up on work and working out and resting. I definitely made time to sleep in today. And then I'm making some pasta salad. I usually use macaroni to make like a mac salad, but I'm using, let's see what it is. Mafalda, Mafalda cota pasta. I think I'm gonna make a tuna, cold tuna pasta salad. I'll make a big batch so we have, either we'll eat it today or we'll just have it as um, part of a meal prep during the week. this guy's birthday at his favorite restaurant and we're going to the best steakhouse in LA it's a gem or a gem. a gem it's a gem it's a gem it is the best steakhouse off the grid it's no Hollywood no Rodeo Drive it's in Culver City and it's called wait I don't want to say the name of that place because no. But it, it's not, it's also a famous landmark, so yeah, it's not like this a hidden. No, but I don't, want, I don't want that place to blow up and it will be crazy and then it it's will be like. It's a famous landmark, it's already blown but still, up. It is the best place in LA if you want good steak, good meat. You know, usually I would do this later. Yeah, that's why I said to her that you want it on rocks. Oh, uh, okay. Look at this face. Andre Martini. Mm, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Let me try yours. Yeah. Shake it, not stir. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. So I'm already drunk. I had this much of bourbon. I got a tiny liver. So I'm a cheat date. Mmm. Okay, let's try this. 
Oh yeah. The brown thing is excellent. It's juicy, but it's fresh. Which one was that? Porterhouse. Porterhouse. Oh, yeah. That was good. 30 ounce. So, what a meat. How does it look? How does it look? Oh, that looks good. Oh, my oh perfect. God. And I have a cowboy steak with a potato. Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Good five. Are we ready? Mmm. Dry age. Dry age. Oh my god, this poor house is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Are you happy? Oh yeah. Happy birthday. Mm, thank you. We should do this every week. Yeah, celebrate Once your birthday. <laughs> Once a week, good steak. Mm. Mm. American style, American style big potato. Mm. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, it's good. very creamy. Yeah, mm. and the fries are really good too. And the gravy. Mm. Oh, fries and gravy. Ah, so thank. Thank you so much. Steak, ice cream, steak, ice cream, bourbon, ice cream. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, wait, you have to blow your candle. First, oh, or you yeah. have to make a wish first. I want to come back to George Petrelli's every week. Oh. Ice cream, steak, steak, ice cream, bourbon. Mm. You should try ice cream with steak. Oh, can I? Like butter? Just put it on top? No, okay. Mm. Mm. Your favorite ice cream? Mm. No, not your favorite ice cream, but your favorite dessert ice is ice cream. Ice cream is good. Ice cream is real good. You want some? Sure. Mm. 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 We were in Burbank today, so we stopped by Portos and we had some croquetas and then we brought some pastries to take home. If uh, Bobby can open. How do you open the childproof box? <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's a mango mousse bomb. Mm. Oh. oh, I think you were just holding the thing in piece in place. Okay, maybe we took it out wrong. No, I did it absolutely correct. It's because the cake shouldn't move in the box. That's why it's it's like look, it's holding in. It's like Cake breaks. Can I try first? Sure. That was a statement. But it sounded like a question. Mmm. Oh wow. Actually very light and fresh. Mmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try another one. I'm just, not, I'm just... just to be sure that it's very light and fresh. Mmm. It's pretty mm. good. Okay, I'm gonna go grab another spoon. Oh, it's got a coconut sponge. 
It's really good. Can I bring a plate? It's yeah, that was really good. And it's got like, that's like a coconutty sponge cake. And then. Where, where is your coconutty sponge cake? In, in the here? bottom. In here, huh? In here? Mm. I want to try that mm. center. Mm hmm. Mm. I want it. Mm -hmm. I love white chocolate. Mm. Mm. This one is so little. So I'm gonna make myself a little a dinner. Bobby's away tonight at his friends. Um, so yeah, I have this wild Alaskan sockeye salmon that I'm gonna make. And I'm going to, so I have feta cheese here that I've kind of like mushed up. And then I'm gonna add, I had some sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna add sun-dried sun tomatoes to this feta. Some herbs like dill, tarragon, uh, some seasonings, and then I'm gonna spread it on this salmon, and then I'm gonna bake it. So let's see how this turns out. seasoned the fish with salt and pepper then we're gonna have this spread of feta on top and that's additional saltiness uh, some creaminess and then sweetness from the sun-dried tomatoes and then um, I think I'm gonna add some wedges of lemon too I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil and there we go I think it looks really pretty and yummy and with the salmon I figured I'll have some potatoes and maybe a little side salad um, seeing as I'm originally from Sweden boiling potatoes is a really popular thing in Sweden uh, but Bobby t taught me a really nice trick uh, instead of just boiling the potatoes straight in just water um, we add pepper some salt and dry rosemary I can't even begin to explain what a difference this makes it makes a huge difference <laughs> um, very delicious way of making potatoes happy with this it's it just looks absolutely delicious so I'm gonna take this go to the couch and have a TV dinner I'm gonna watch Outlander I'm gonna catch up because I haven't seen the last season so let's go do that it looks so good mm. oh that's so good I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. How long?
face I know Listen to the people that I found there If you ever see her, let me know How long, how long, how long Did you wait for me?